really just need to like pee and refresh beverages. Ugh. Didn't even change the title, that's okay. I'm back. Alright. Let me see how quick this trial is. 21 minutes. We're now waiting 21 minutes. Raw. This means I'm going to yield this. That's in five minutes. That's so much better. Look, I'm doing a stream. I'm on a timetable. I need to do this. Here we are. I thoroughly enjoyed this fight. I haven't done this in a while. My trials pop, but this trial doesn't come up. <laughs> it was assuming the uh, last DPS is finally accepts. Nope. But here we are. Hey, check that out. Napped right at the right time. Oh, my overlay disappeared. Oh, come on, DPS. <laughs> There's so many of you. For God's sake, why couldn't I have gotten it? <laughs> there we are. This all over again? He was just summoned.
Anybody see it going? Okay, this one. I love that fight. I like doing it on Elego shirtless. Because you get to see his gray skin all wet and like, and ugh. Okay, okay, switch. Nope, not well in the duty. Meanwhile, off the coast of Vontard. Huh. VO. The Red have sounded the alarm. The Isle of Zeki under attack. Fierce fighting in the stronghold. The vault breached by outsiders and strange tales from deep within. All this the Red cannot ignore. 
Even now, they abandon their posts and flock to the Isle. The Garleans are powerless to stop them. I'll be damned they did it. Well, Captain, wages notwithstanding, I dare say we will not have a better opportunity to drive the Imperials from Asari and rescue our men. On the other hand, naught was put in writing. But if your mind is made up, then that is that. I should add that if you were to change your mind, none would gainsay your decision, nor think you beholden to your past. Nor would anyone begrudge you a spot of revenge into the bargain. Like the Little Miss said, we knew this day would come. Isari may be a rotting husk. But at least the tavern keeper never watered down his drinks. Well said for a temperate man. Comrades, we made a bargain with the Aeorsians, and I mean to uphold our end of it. I mean to remind the Garleans that this is our sea, that all here belongs to the Confederacy. All that is theirs is ours for the taking, and take it we shall. We will strip them of everything they hold dear. This one is iron. My hands will break before he speaks. Oh, come he give me strength. Are you good at anything? I had hoped this might prove more productive than blind inquiries, but I see you are determined to waste my time. Very well. Line them up. Kill one for every question he refuses to answer. Hurt them, and you will get naught from me. You have given me precisely that thus far, so what have I to lose? Mark me, Samurai. I will find Lord here, be it with your help or with your heads. You will pay for the ah! Confederacy. They've come to save us. <sighs> and this after I took such pains to cow them. Even pirates have their pride, I suppose. Enough to march to their deaths, no less. Oh, the stupidity of it all. It truly is a sickness. I shall just have to lance the boil. Drain them of every last trace of honor and compassion. Every last drop. My lady, I... I'm going outside. Kami are not finished with you yet.
There's no end to them. They just keep coming. Then we must be doing something right. We have to hold out for as long as we can. He's counting on us. Whoa. That's okay, I'm done. Susano is slain! Slain by the shellless one! Where are you guys going? Oh, hey. Hey, you two. Is it true? Did you defeat him? I mean, of course. Well, in that case, how do you fancy helping us keep the Kojin occupied until the Confederacy make their move? Speak of the Devils, that's coming from Isari. I think we've done all we can here. Let's withdraw and make for the village. Right. Although, they don't seem keen to let us go. Hear me, Kojin of the Red. We have no quarrel with you, only your Imperial Masters. No more blood need be shed this day. I pray you let us go in peace. You dare speak to us of peace? Your flesh will feed the fishes, thief! Attack! Now's our chance. Don't worry about her, she can handle herself. And I just broke out my astrolabe. let you take all the glory, can I? <laughs> I love Ellie's A. Alright. Back to being a monk. Ooh, where are we going? No, wait, 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 hold on. Oh, we're in the water. Get on my plesiosaur. Ultra. This is like flying. I can't fly quite yet. It's like flying. I should probably turn the volume back down. There you are. You, see, you, you, you need to hear me. Don't want to be drowned out. Coffee's done. Truly Wicked did it again. He patted me. Or punched him in the face. Anyways. I think we're safe. Uh, I didn't see any Kojin follow us. Wait here. I'm going back for Alize. Uh, she stayed beside so we could escape. She's fine. <laughs> So that you could escape, not me. And that was a mistake. I should have been the one to stay behind, not her. So I got to go back. If we lose her, I'll never forgive myself. I was the one who dragged you all into this. It was my fight, not yours. I know, I know that from the start, but I also knew I couldn't do it alone. But I've asked too much and let too much happen to you all. I have to make this right. I have to do it on my own. Let me go, please. I'm asking you as a friend. I have to help her. 
You can start by finding me a towel and some bandages. <laughs> I'll take it. What? Why are you looking at me like that? I was going to distract them, not make a heroic and ultimately futile last stand. Who does that anyway? Uh, because of in in game uh, uh, cutscene things, this looks weird. <laughs> Love of, this is stupid. You're embarrassing yourself and me. Shut up and let me have this. <laughs> right, that wasn't so bad, was it? Now you need to hurry back to the sorry. I don't see any soldiers. Do you think the Confederacy drove them off? Ah, mount speed increase. <gasps> and here's an Aether quest. Something definitely happened here. I see several people who look like they might be injured. Let's give them a hand and find out what we missed. Hmm. Do I need a help? Oh, I'll be fine. There's nothing that, that won't heal. Should go after Lise. Ah. Oh, you're not an Imperial. Is is it over? Here's that way. Tell me be praised. I am certain she would have would have us all killed and burned us all to the ground. Or kill us after making us watch, or better care us in our homes before putting them to the torch. Thank you, my child. When the fighting started, I tried to run and hide, but fell and could not regain my feet. I thought for sure that we would all be slaughtered, but the pirates drove them off. I never thought I'd see the day when the Confederacy came to our aid. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm moving much faster now. I remember you. You're the one who saved, saved me from the doming catchers. Thanks to you, we managed to rescue the fishermen and my kidnapped comrades, one of whom joined the Confederacy with me long, long ago. I would have broken my heart to have had to bury him. Oh, and if you're looking for the captain, you'll find him in the tavern. Back already? Why have you learned? At the tavern, you say? In that case, we should fi uh, find Lee and speak with him together. I think this is VR. I think. Could be wrong. My Eorzean friends. Saw the smoke, did you? A pity you did not come sooner, though I gather you were busy elsewhere. Gazetsu! You're alive. You're all alive. And full of vim and vigor. <laughs> <laughs> did I not tell you I was no stranger to chains? The fighting cannot have lasted long. Where are all the Imperials? Fled. They stood their ground for a time. 
until it became clear that their Korjin reinforcements would not be coming. We took some few casualties, but my deeper regret is having let Yotsuyu slip through my fingers. That bodyguard of hers may be a half-wit, but he's a mean bastard on the battlefield. In any event, I imagine all involved are satisfied with this outcome. So far as the Empire is concerned, the Confederacy attacked Asari in retaliation for the Viceroy's actions, and without the aid of insurrectionists, I might add. Suffice it to say, we are prepared to be the subject of their undivided attention for the foreseeable future. Um, I'm going to say so you say. I understand. You have your doubts. We are pirates, after all, with hardly the strength of a nation. But when we saw what you few had accomplished, our hearts could not choose but stir in our breasts. Your assistance would be most welcome. Nevertheless, we shall do our utmost to spare you undue danger. We are already in your debt. Nay, little miss, all debts are paid. For by your deeds, many still live who elsewise would not. Let both parties count their blessings, and may fortune continue to favor us all. You still seek to bring freedom to our people, then? You will go to Yansha. I have faith that our allies yet live. Once we have found them, we will plan our next step. Yansha was the crucible of the rebellion. What happened here pales in comparison to what Yotsuyo did there. Remember this. Fear changes men. Have care in whom you place your trust. And with that, we must take our wounded home. Oh, your shellback friend sends his regards and looks forward to your next meeting. Try not to die before then, eh? Mission successful. Can I get an Aether Current? Solo 265. Yay! Any the current. I got three more and I got two of the quests. And I think we have... Uh, this is the Heaven on High dude. The other one. I picked that up just so I got it. Quickly. Uh, nope. That's uh, Heaven on High. Okay. Heaven on High is the deep dungeon. Um, I'm not a fan of deep dungeons. I just don't like them. Mikazi? Oh. Nope, that's... Oh! That is... This is for uh, to unlock the Kojin. Uh, I'll do that later. I'm gonna I need to cl clear 450 of Palace of the Dead, which I'm never gonna do, so I'm never gonna unlock Heaven in the High. Aha! That's it. Okay. I know, I know what it is. I'll do that later. Anyways, back to Gosetsu. Go really is less than a picture of perfect health. Gosetsu is ready to head to Yangsha. You did well, Asikos. Were it not for the tremendous strength and bravery of you and yours, many innocent souls would have suffered terrible feats. Though I knew the Confederacy would be loath to meet the Imperials in battle, I also knew that if any could win them over, it would be you. 
Truly, yours is a heroic spirit that inspires men to rise above their circumstances, to strive for something greater. It'll be an honor to travel with you again. Now then, let us not squander the Confederacy gifts. Yangsha, my countrymen, await. There's a tunnel to the southwest. We need but follow it to reach our destination. With me! If anything, I'll be able to fly in, uh... Ruby C. Not so much. Oh, wait a minute. VO. Because we're going into a new area. Meanwhile, on the shores of Antard. We cannot rest here for long. This place is not safe. Mayhap no worries if thieves can breach our vaults. Nevertheless, it is our duty to protect these treasures, and we shall not fail for want of effort. So, this is why you abandoned your posts. And without a word of explanation at that. Rather thoughtless of you, was it not? Lady Yotsuyo, pray forgive us our absence, but our home was under attack, our vaults plundered by outsiders. Did you even pause to consider the possibility that it might be a diversion? What is the point of contracting your services if you are not here when they are required? It is my solemn charge to bring these vermin to heal. To torment them, body and soul, until all they hold dear is as bitter ashes in their mouths. And then you go and ruin everything! There's naught to be gained in belaboring the point. All that remains is to administer your punishment. Wait, my lady! It's no good. There's just no joy in it. No release. There, there needs to be some investment. There were negligent imbeciles deserving of punishment, but it was hardly personal. Ten thousand such caution could not satisfy me half so well as a single dollar. One of the vaunted treasures of the realm. The craftsmanship is certainly impressive. Mayhap we can use it to make amends. How long before Lord Xenos reinstates me, do you reckon? I've got unfinished business back in Aeorzea. Is serving me really so unbearable? At least pretend to enjoy, you witless lump! If you are so desperate to earn a way back to Eorzea, 
Then be quiet and do as you're told. And bring that sword while you're at it. I remember the silence, how the talking stopped when we first set foot on the plains of Yansha. Before us stood yet another wall, and through a great Magitek field, we glimpsed Doma Castle. I'll never forget the sight, or the anger I felt that day. Life, liberty, hope, so much lost, so much taken. As we walked through that war-torn land, no one said a word. Yangsha is another one of those places where I can partially get most of the uh, a, a good chunk of the uh, ether currents. In fact, is there one nearby? Maybe. Hmm. Yes, this is far enough. Ere we proceed further, I would speak of Yangsha and what what became of her, what lies beyond the Great Wall at the heart of Doma. And we should be glad to hear it. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> we should be glad to hear it, but is it wise for us to have this conversation here on the road, out in the open? Oh, once your caution... Once your caution would be warranted, but no longer. Xenos did not linger after he crushed the rebellion. He appointed Yuxiu to act in his stead and quit these lands for spe for fresh sport. The acting viceroy is no less merciless than her master. Without warning, her men would march into villages and search for radical elements, killing and torturing any who dared resist. And then, as quickly as they had come, they left. Satisfied with the memory of the purges would keep the people in line. You relax her grips on Yangsha, which what need for the leash when the dog is broken. The village of Namai lies to the west. Though I doubt the Imperials are present, let us proceed with caution. Aether currents. Ever important. Important. Thank you. 
There she is, the humble vision of Namai. How delicious her rice, how sweet her persimmons. Too long has it been since I saw her with my own eyes, and for mercy, the Imperials appear to be absent. Hold that thought. Uh, for some reason, out in the middle of nowhere, parking dummies. I have thoughts. Let's talk to Gutset. Let no man claim that I'm reckless. Prudence has ever been my f watch for. I suppose venture closer if you would and confirm that there are no soldiers like you die. to remain hidden. Let us go and greet them as friends. I'm going too. Good people of Namai, hearken to me. We come in peace and desire only information. To learn of recent events. What is it, a general? Oh, it is gorgeous. I can't help but judge it all. She lives. I say, brothers and sisters, is all amiss? Why do you regard me as one with a wild beast? Why is there fear in your eyes? Why do you tremble so? Ah, but of course. You fear me a vengeful spirit of the dead. Rest assured, nor could be further from the truth. Or am I not corporeal? Are my feet not firmly set upon the ground? <laughs> what should we do? If they catch him, we'll be know what will happen. The time's for him to turn up. Has the old fool lost his mind? You! But why have you come here? What do you want from us? I know not who you are to speak thus to your elders, boy, but mine only desire is to be received with the hospitality owed a humble traveler, not the fear and trepidation one might afford a wrathful shay. What? What are you going on about? Actually, never mind, just come with me, now! I don't know who you people think you are, but do you have any idea what would happen if you found in the village? Again, you address me with unwarranted spite. I let your impropriety pass until now, but no longer. Who are you, boy, to speak to me thus? Know you not who I am? I am Issei of Namai. 
I am Ise of Namai, a farmer, like my father before me and his father before him. I wouldn't expect a man like you to know who I am, but I know you. We all do. Lord Kayan, retainer and leader of the rebellion, Gosetsu. A notorious fugitive wanted dead or alive by the Empire. Ha ha ha! Is that what this is all about? Uh, hardly the first man turned the eye of the Empire, nor that I'd be the last. Was not my home to brave and true warriors who fought beneath my banners of king and country? They fought, and they died, every last one of them, and then the Imperials came looking for more because of them. They were this close to killing us all, to burning our village to the ground. We were only just begun to enjoy some semblance of peace. Never again. Never again do you understand we had enough of you and yours. Whatever it is you're plotting, leave us out of it. Oh, impassioned as this please may be, surely he must know that I cannot leave things as they are. But for now, I shall respect his wishes. We must continue onwards toward our final destination. The House of the Fierce, proud headquarters of the Dolmen Liberation Fund. There's a secret entrance to the north of Namai, by way of small of a small spring. Come, I will show you. However, before I do that, I'm still going to uh, pop it to the village. I tune to the Aetherite. <laughs> the Aetherite's there. I'm going to tune to it. I like how they put the NPCs, like in places where we can see them to basically guide us in the direction that we need to go. <laughs> this way, this way, we must dive into the water. Have no fear, as it goes, it is but a short distance. You need not hold your breath for long. If only he knew. Finding my post? I don't have you know I'm more than capable of keeping watch and fishing at the same time. Oh, Gosetsu, why are you out of breath? Uh, uh. <laughs> How invigorating! Congratulations, my friends. You have come to the House of the Fierce. You are Essica Swinsmill, are you not? You, we were told of your coming. Girls of Eorzea, we of the Domon... Dolman Liberation Front are honored to receive you. Will you be so good to follow me? I think there's Rio. This is the House of the Fears, but there are so few of them. Many kindred spirits remain in hiding following the rebellion. Many others gave their lives for their nation. We are the stubborn remainder. Even accounting for our comrades in the field, we are at a fraction of our former strength, tis true. Yet we few are patriots. 
Brothers in arms, prepared to fight with every fiber of our being to set our people free. Ever are we hopeful that others will join our cause, but never did I dream that you would journey so far. Yukiri! Gods, it's good to see you. You look great, by the way. Have you been here long? I returned but recently, having concluded my mission. Oh, it is good to see you again, my friends. Did I hear aright? Your mission is concluded? Then you have found the young master. Ere we speak of that, I would know by what fortuitous circumstance our friends came to be here. Exposition. <laughs> the Empire's crimes are all too familiar. This, my heart goes out to your people. We wanted to stay and fight, believe me, but we knew it wouldn't work. We needed more time to rebuild, and more allies to stand with us against the Empire. So we decided to come here and help you free Doma. To show you, to show everyone that you're not alone, and that the Garleans can be beaten if we work together. I'd like to think we proved that in the Ruby Sea. That you did, Lise, and far more besides. Needless to say, your assistance would be most welcome. Hear, hear! Now then, Yugiri, you must tell me of your search for our master. Lest you wonder, he speaks of Lord Hien, son of Lord Kayen, who perished during the rebellion. When it became clear that all hope of victory had gone, Lord Hien bade us deliver as many of our people as we could to safety beyond our borders. But, as his father's heir, he was determined to fight on, and so he did. Until he suffered a grievous wound in battle, and vanished without a trace. Until now. For I have found Lord Hien, seen and spoken with him, on the Azim Steppe. O oh, boundless and merciful Kami! The young master lives! Tell me, was he well? Did his wound yet ail him? Where is he now? Have you brought him back to us? You may take comfort in the knowledge that he is hale and whole. However, when I invited him to return with me to Doma, he had this to say. If Doma yet thirsts for the blood of patriots and tyrants, I shall offer unto her my blade. But if she has had her fill of bitter drafts, I shall offer unto her conquerors my head. Thrice did I declare to him that no true son or daughter of Doma would ever accept such a sacrifice. But for all my passion, he would not be swayed. Learn the truth of her heart and return to me, he said. And so I left him. words of one made to wear the mantle of leadership too soon. Yet there is wisdom in them all the same. If the people no longer yearn to be free, it would be folly to rekindle the fires of war. To suffer our master, to surrender his life and forsake all hope of freedom is by far the greater folly. I will not go to face my fallen comrades having done naught to stop it. Nor I, Shadow Walker, nor I. But we need not rouse our comrades to battle this day. Let us instead welcome our honored guests and allow them a moment of respite. As you see, they went to great lengths to disable the Aetherite. Apparently, in the twilight of the Rebellion, they feared that Xenos would be willing to risk sending unattuned conscripts. 
That said, it is hardly irreversible. They have the necessary materials, and it would be a challenge to repair it. It would be a challenge to repair it alone, but mayhap with your, my brother's help. You should hear this, Eskos. He was just telling me about Xenos and the Rebellion. What you have to understand is that it's not a simple matter of numbers. The bulk of the the Twelfth never even took the field. It was Xenos' stratagems that won the war. They were unlike anything we had ever seen. His formations were unorthodox, bewildering. We honestly thought we had we had him on the back foot. One moment we were pressing our advantage, the next they were surrounded, and that is mercy. And then he stood before us, his cornered prey, alone and unarmed. He beckoned us to come forward and fight for our lives. One by one, my comrades charged, fearless and unflinching. He would dance amongst their blades, for a time, and then draw close, as if to embrace. One after another, he was made us watch. You understand? He made us watch. What kind of monster enjoys killing people? I do not think there was any joy to it, nor justice, nor morality, nor meaning. To him, the weight of one life is no different than that of a thousand. A challenge has been issued, and it was accepted. But on finding us no challenge at all, his objective changed. There were tales of imperial soldiers being flayed for slaughtering families, from breaking brave men's spirits. Another, only later did I come to understand why. He did not desire obedience, he desired hate, and men consumed by it. A new battle, a new enemy, a new challenge, the hunt, I am told he called it, a hunt without end. And when all of our, our best laid dead, dead and broken, he left. He left muttering that he was, we had bored him. But our weapons, at least, held to his interest, and he took a fallen samurai's sword, having grown fond of it. Since that day, he has ever wielded fire and blades. He is said to be fascinated by ones, ones with storied histories, and so soldiers who seek to curry his favor often present them of different enemies as gifts, defeated enemies as gifts. It's like it's all a game to him. People are suffering, dying, and he's collecting swords? We all feel the same, but my lady must understand. On the battlefield, reasons do not matter. Victor is not the just, but the strong, and the strong become the heroes of the tale. We were not strong enough. It is not significant to be right, sufficient to be right, to be just. That strength our path has but one end. May I have a brief respite is in order. Were I twenty years younger, these rune wounds would not warrant a second glance. Alas, no samurai has the strength to defeat the villain old each. And what say you to the House of the Fierce? Compared to your rising stones, I concede it may seem somewhat lacking. But it has been a heaven for these past ten years to all who had set Donima free. Regrettably, our efforts at, in that time has come to little less. Uh, when the Emperor died, we were so sure the hour of our liberation was at hand. But Xenos soon put pa uh, I accidentally clicked through that. Back to you, Giddy. Essigos, I do hope you, you have taken this opportunity to rest and recover. No rest for the righteous! It, it is well you spoke of one of 
with one of the survivors of the massacre. To defeat one's foe, must one first understand his true nature. As the Alamegan resistance has, has struggled, so too has the dumb enumeration front. More so, perhaps, given the precarious position in which we find ourselves in the wake of our doomed rebellion. We are few in our enemy's legion. We are weak, and they strong. Yet, with your help, I believe that there is little we cannot achieve. I only hope that the depth of our predicament is not shaken on your commitment to our cause. This is this is Asagos. No, no, I relish the challenge. You relish the thought of facing the monster again, but of course, the hero of Eorzea fears no foe. Oh, I just forgot to turn the volume down. Here we are. Now then, I should be glad to discuss our next course of action. Though not that I... Not that I think on it, I myself have been away from Doma for some time, and even after my return, the search for Lord Hien commanded my full attention. May it would be to both our benefit if you were to see the reality of Doma for ourselves. For did my lord not bid me learn the truth of her heart? Let us do this together, as ghosts. Let's go among the people and with our own eyes bear witness to their hardship. As a foreigner in these lands, your reputation does not precede you. Moreover, unlike Gosetsu, I can accompany you without attracting unwanted attention. I'd like to join you if that's all right. By all means, we should be glad for your company and your perspective. Namai is not far. I say we begin there. If you remember at the beginning of Stormblood, um, at the beginning of Stormblood, um, Rabon had had said. Hey, we will not be entering Garabanya unless their people essentially invite us in to help them. So we needed to get agreement from the resistance, Conrad. Uh, I'm just going to teleport. It's not far, but it'll be faster. This is kind of the same thing. It's like Look, if you don't want, uh, Hien is basically saying, okay, if you don't want, if you don't want me to come back and uh, basically continue a war or uh, start a war, uh, and, and to, to free you, if you are currently okay with the status quo then i won't if you you don't care you don't want to be doing the be become free and stay under Gar garlean rule then i'll just off my head it'll be done with it and that will be the end of any sort of uh rebellion or anything however if the opposite if you want to um, if you want to go against that, if you no longer want that to, to be the case, then you don't have to. 
Oh, that's a ghost. I'm glad to see that you put you too put thought into your garments, given the covert nature of our activities. Um, I haven't changed anything. I did? I'm still wearing my mug gear. <laughs> hmm. I should think of my reasons obvious. To enter the village while wearing the garb of the shinobi would, have, would be beyond reckless. We shall pose as traveling merchants, Esagos as our leader, and we, we as his assistants. Are there any objectives? Objections? Not really the merchant type, but if you think this is the best way to go about it, I'll trust you. Then without further ado, let us begin. Weren't you the one who came with the general? No? Hmm, I see. My mistake. It warms my heart to see traveling merchants in, in Amai again, though the Imperials uh, never se sealed our, our borders. Folks like you have taken to avoiding Yangsha ever since the rebellion. Unfortunately, that has only made it harder for us to survive. You may have noticed that we lack for a great many things. It is not much better before, before true, but it has only gotten worse. Jeez. Hmm, I want to see some. Oh, just let me see. You, a merchant, forgive me for my spec uh, skepticism, but you strike me less a man of commerce, more a common sellsword. Well. I stand corrected. Such a warm and cordial nature you, you possess. I. Pray you forgive me for my earlier rudeness. It has been some time since the Viceroy came to our village to purge it of insurgents. Those who resisted uh, suffered terribly, and those who did not fare a little better. We who remain ain't no better than to risk her ire. If the Imperials demand labor, laborers, we comply. If they demand conscripts to send as soldiers to other provinces, as we obey. Ours is a difficult light, with little in the, the way of luxuries. I know not what to what you sell, merchant, but I doubt that I, nor anyone else here, can afford it. A traveling merchant with meat, perchance. Ah, better not to, not to know when I have so little coin. I feel your eyes upon me. You know not the lupin. Surely you have not been long in Yangsha. Uh, else you would. For generations we served the lords of Doma, compassionate and wise as they were, but the memories of such times fade with every passing day, as others will tell you. Born peddlers in the my what is it you sell? I have no money to buy. Perhaps you would you should go somewhere else. Saying that, I know of no village in Yangsha that has fared any better. Once I we have directed you to the samurai lords of Monzen, but they not had they not all died in battle or in the purges. There is a dome in Ongrave, of course, but that lies beyond the Dari Moon Gates. Needless to say, the Imperials are disinclined to let any but their own pass. Oh, I'm at it. Might as well just repair all my gear.
Yes. Have you learned anything? Yeah, everything's alpha and horrible. Lisa and I encountered much the same. They have been pushed beyond the boundaries. I expected frustration and disillusionment, but not so much that they would come to question the wisdom of opposing imperial rule in the first place. Unless you can convince them otherwise, I fear I cannot convince Lord Hien to return. Without him... Let us not yet lose hope. Though the situation in Amai is bleak, mayhap it is not so, so elsewhere. I wish to speak with others outside the, outside the village. Lisa and I, I will look for farmers in the paddies to the east. As goes, I ask that you look to the south. Surely they cannot all have given in to despair. It's a current quest. That's for offline. Find people in distress. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If you hadn't come along, along, I don't know what I would have done. What am I doing out here? Oh, looking for flowers. I need some for my parents' graves. The ones my brother and I usually bring are yellow, because, because it was my mother's favorite color. I haven't seen any, have you? Let me look around. Oh, hey, there's a thing called sticker. Nice to stumble upon you. Ah, uh, that doesn't look ominous. Only yellow ones will do. Mother wouldn't want anything. Ah, you found some. Thank you so much, sir. That's twice you saved me now. Um, if you have some time time to spare, maybe you could come with me. I'm sure mother and father would want to meet the man who showed me such kindness. We buried them on a cliff to the west of the village. There's a path through the ter terrace. I'll show you.
Um, You're here! Just give me a moment to put down the flowers and I'll introduce you. They love to meet travelers and hear tales of faraway places. Maybe you could tell them one about your homeland. Azumi! Azumi! There you are! Azumi! What the? You should not be here! Get away from my sister! Don't be so rude. He saved me from monsters, brother. He even helped me pick flowers for mother and father. Go back to the village. Now. You're scaring me. I said go! Stay inside and lock the door until I return. Don't think me ungrateful. My sister is the only family I have. If you saved her, then thank you. But it changes nothing. I ask you to leave. And now I am asking you again. I'm not going to report you to the Imperials or anything stupid like that. But it's too dangerous for you to stay here. So please, I'm begging you, just leave us alone. Is that what you really want? Many times do I have to tell you, if they find you, find you here, we're the ones who they'll punish. And it'll be a thousand times worse than before. My mother and father believed in the rebellion. They left and left to fight with Lord Kyan, who came home. On, they came home in a cart driven by imperial soldiers. The soldiers demanded that the families of the insurgents present themselves, or else they burn the whole village to the ground. But we did. What choice do we have? They beat us in the village square with their their hands, with their sticks, with anything. They kicked us while we lay on the ground begging for mercy. They made us denounce my mother and father, call them fools, call them traitors. They, they deserve to die. I heard them laugh, and they dared not. I dared not look up. One leaned close and whispered in my ear that he, what he'd do to my sister if they had, had to come back. They're gone, they're, but they're never far. All it takes to is the wrong word in the wrong ear, and they'll return. And then I'll have to dig another grave. If I'm lucky. Whatever you came here to do, leave us out of it. If you want to fight the Imperials, go and fight them on your own. You can't, you can't help us. No one can. This is all we've got, so please don't take it from us. That's for another time. We've come at a good time, Eskos. We but recently completed our inquiries. What of yours? I was not aware of these events. The boy, Issei, 
He he told you all this? Such disgraceful, despicable crimes. If I knew the men responsible, I would not hesitate to hunt them down and... Forgive me, that outburst was unbecoming. The more I learned the, the Imperial's actions in my absence, the more difficult I find it to marshal my emotions. Did Lord Hien have foreseen this? That our people's spirits would be broken so? Though at first I scoffed at his pronouncement, it feels all too possible now that he might resolve to surrender himself. That's not what I was looking for. These are hands. And I'll get hitting uh, the 273 mile. Despite everything seen and learned, I refuse to renounce this cause. We should return to the House of the Fierce and consult with our uh, comrades. Perhaps together we might. Did you hear that? Quickly, we must find a place to hide. Yeah. Why are you milling about like a pack of slack-jawed mongrels? Form a line! Now! Finally. I come before you today to deliver an announcement of the highest import. So listen well. While on a charitable mission to Isari village, the acting Viceroy and her personal guard came under attack from Confederate forces. This brazen, unconscionable act cannot and will not go unanswered. As loyal subjects of the Empire who enjoy her safety and prosperity, you have a duty to defend her as well. There is no cause for alarm. We have no intention of sending ill-trained fodder to the front line. We're just going to train you as fodder first. Those who are selected will be expected to perform rudimentary tasks. Cleaning and maintenance and so forth. You will serve only as long as you are needed. Afterwards, you'll be free to return to your home. 
You, you first. The Empire has no pressing need of cleaners. This is but a thinly veiled attempt to intimidate those who supported the Confederacy's actions, and isolate any whose loyalty they already suspect. And lastly, you. That should suffice for now. Don't worry, I will be back before you know it. Listen to the elders while I'm away, and do not play outside the village. Everything is going to be fine. I love you, all right? Remember that I love you. We thank you for your cooperation. Rest assured that this will all be over very soon, once the Confederacy has been made to pay our own ruby tithe. There's no telling what might happen to those people. We have to help them. And we shall. But before all else, we must needs ascertain their destination. I doubt this is the first village the Garleans have visited. Nor is it like to be the last. I will track these men. Will you help me? Pray return to our headquarters and tell the others what you saw here. Should we have need of reinforcements, I would know that they are ready. But I should be going with you. I came here to fight! Soon enough, Lise. Soon enough. For now, we must proceed with caution. I know that. I do. It's just... When I saw them rounding those people up... Look, if anything happens, anything at all, you'd better call for us. I mean it, Yugiri. Anything at all. Basically, Yugiri is is like, at least you're hot-headed. <laughs> this is supposed to be a covert mission, and I don't trust you <laughs> to, to not be covert about it. <laughs> yes, I got super sorry. Oh, hold on. It's three of five quests I can pick up. It's a good day. Given the circumstances, we must make it every effort to refrain from needless violence. Here is a shinobi tool for when a more discreet approach is required. Use it with these dots. They are coated with an alchemical reagent that induces a deep sleep. There are soldiers patrolling ahead. Where circumstances are different, we could engage them directly, but for the villagers' sake, we dare not risk it. We will use our blowguns to incapacitate them. Regardless of your familiarity with such weapons, you are a veteran. No. You are a veteran warrior, and I'm sure you will come to it you will come to it naturally. Nevertheless, practice is in order. Right. 
There. The soldier on the hill below. Take aim and fire. The dot finds its mark. You will fall within moments. Not dead, just unconscious. Well done, my friend. Now, give me your map. If there's a vantage point from which you may observe and fire, fire upon the other soldiers. Worry not, I shall be with you every step of the way, keeping watch for other patrols. We shall speak again on the other side of the river. So I'm going to the same point of the quest line as I do. He's patting me on the head again. I need to like log off for a while. We stop doing that. All right. Nope. Oh. Uh, no one over here. Uh, get this one. How's that for a shot? I guy could have just like fallen off. Ooh, it's hot here. Oh, take a nap. Last Imperial soldier is comfortably to the ground asleep. You put away your blowgun and prepare to rejoin you, Gatory. Excellent work, as it goes. I, they appear to be none the wiser. The villagers are being held... Ugh, held in the castrum to the south. Boom, it is. Uh, once it was a base of operation for the Godlian occupation until ten or so years ago when they relocated to Doma Castle. Now the castrum serves as little more than a storage facility. I spy two sentries near the gate. As you have proven yourself to have impeccable aim, I would ask you to incapacitate them. This very hill should afford you a clear shot. Two centuries slumber side by side. No others appear to be forthcoming. Oh, 
Framework is Gaussia gift of the way of Shinobi. The way is clear. Let us move closer and see what may have come of the villagers. Sir, the yard for the uh, the villagers have assembled for inspection. Mm. Very good. I will address them personally. Attention! Surely you will be transported to the facility on the distant shore. Your duties, as you are pr previously informed, will be rudimentary in nature. More specifically, you will be tasked with the repair and maintenance of various arms and armaments, as well as magitech devices. Magitech? But we're farmers. We don't know the first thing about Magitech. It'll take us months, if not years, to learn how to do that kind of work. The material in question was damaged when your kissing kin rose up to rebellion. Therefore, you bear responsibility for its repair. If you cannot perform your duties, you will learn how. If you cannot learn how, then your villagers may find themselves at the mercy of the Confederacy and other radical elements. Is that what you want? Deal with this rubble. I'm needed at the castle. This is no temporary measure. Those men and women, women will die in servitude. Once they have taken to the taken to the other facility, it will be too late. If we are to intervene, we must do so now. Agreed. And let us be at it. Despite the urgency of the situation, we must still proceed with the utmost caution to ensure the safety of the villagers. To wit, we must infiltrate the cast room without raising the alarm. I will deal with any soldiers near the entrance. Stand watch for others approaching from the north until you hear my signal. For mercy, spy no imperial patrols bound for the cast room. A hawk's cry pierces the silence. Giddy is waiting. Speak softly, let's see how this hears. What is the outside? That is good. We must. We may proceed as planned. This one shall not wake soon. These ones shall not. Shall not soon wake. However, the others are too close to the vi to the villagers. Incapacitating them as I did these ones is far too risky. Fortunately, a solution presented itself. I would have you disguise yourself as an imperial soldier and convince them that a change in the card is in order. You have your pick of uniforms. They shall not protest. It's your frame appears to be more or less your side. With all due care and consideration, you relieve the sleeping soldier of their uniform. You have chosen one to your liking, then. Excellent. I shall hide these ones where none will find them. As sleeping beauties have been laid to rest in the bunks. Oh, and while I was in the barracks, I have been upon the, these spare uniforms in case the items in your possession are not to your liking. Uh, 
Oh, they all went into my inventory. The Kabuto and Teko would should match your your Uguai, Hakama and uh, Choka in your possession. With that, you have full set. I'm sure that once once you change, you'll see as though it was bespoke. Oh, uh, one. Emotes. Yeah. Hero salute. Taking the god, is it? What about bloody time? Just looking after these on is... It's making me depressed. Remind me of when I was in there, she was pissing myself in fear. Weakling. It's time already. No, I don't. Not that I'm completely mine, but I thought the others would be gone longer. This one should sleep soundly along with the others. And with that, there's no more soldiers to trouble us. We would dispose that accursed uniform too. It's time to guide the villagers to freedom. All of you, we have dealt with the Imperials for now, but you must see this place quickly. Dealt with them? Oh no. You didn't kill them, did you? Are you mad? There's no escaping the Empire. 
Running will only make it worse. To stay is to die. You know this to be true. Even if you lack the will to fight, surely you have the will to live. Or has that, too, been beaten out of you? Is this what has become of Doma? You were Lord Fion's retainer, trained to fight without fear and obey without question. Well, we're not. We're lost and afraid. We hate this, all of this, but we can't do a damn thing to change it. And time will only make it worse. It's a pathetic existence. It's all we've got. And when people like you come here pretending it can be different, it, it doesn't help. to help, and for that we should be grateful. Elda, you're safe. We all have scars. Some too many to bear. You know what that is. Too much lost, our friends, our family, even our leaders. <laughs> We who survived are forced to bend the knee, to sell our souls and surrender our dignity. How are we to lift our heads when this shame weighs so heavily upon us? Your courage, your resolve, they are as salt in our wounds. They only knew what you would do for them, my lord. You have made your plight clear, and I shall impose my will no more. But know this, brothers and sisters of Doma. For all you have suffered, for all the horror and the ignominy, you are still here. You are still alive. My lord, my lord, Praise you value your life as highly as he does. As for me, I swear by all the Kami in creation that I will free you from this torment, no matter the cost. If the Imperials come for me, I will tell them we were tricked by an Ori woman. Tell them whatever you must. To keep your loved ones safe. Why would you... After everything... Yuria is a lot of words. Apologies, I guess. I was lost in thought. Mayhap we, they have the right of it. Mayhap we are fools for urging them to rise once more. But I believe, I have to believe, that in their heart of hearts, that they still... Now is not the time. We must finish what we started. I have in my possession a powerful medicine that befuddles the mind and memories. We must administer it to the soldiers ere they wake. 
Medicine would leave the soldiers confused and unable to clearly recall recent events. They will suspect that they fell asleep at their posts and be reluctant to discuss it with others. It is not more than a temporary measure, but we dare not to kill them for the sake of the villagers. Tend to the last two are put to sleep, I shall see to the others. Oh, Mount Speed in Yanksha. Oh, there is that you. I want to go home. Forgive me for making you search. It calms me, the sound. It helps me to remember the sway of the ocean when I close my eyes. Despite the many great and noble things I said, in truth I am not of Doma. I was born beneath the waves of the Ruby Sea. My parents. To think that you were there, that you even spoke with my mother and father. They are in good health, then. The knowledge is of great comfort to me. That I might have the strength to protect my home from the Empire, I left to learn the secrets of the Shinobi. Day and night we trained, ever striving to exceed our mental and physical limits.
after a time, my skills were recognized, and I was dispatched to assist the Doman Liberation Front. It was then that I met Lord Kayan and his son, and their loyal samurai, Gosetsu. Good men all, brave and true, so clear their eyes, so pure their purpose. Any shinobi would have been proud to serve them, and Doma. But, in the end, I will always be of the sea. Every day, I pray for my home and for the people I left behind, that they might be spared the wages of war and live in peace, untouched by this madness. I confessed this to Lord Hien once. Do you know what he said to me? He said, good. We are better for the conviction of our allies and draw inspiration from their example. What is weak alone may together grow stronger. Never did I lose faith in them. Even when all was lost and I led our people to Eorzea, I clung to the belief that our dream would one day be realized. But when I gazed into those eyes bereft of hope, when those broken men balked at liberty, the dream was shattered. Together we are strong, we must carry on. But you remain resolute, even in the face of everything we have seen. It heartens me more than you know. Thank you for standing by this naive fool. An Imperial airship. It is bound for Doma Castle. Quickly, we must rejoin the others. can turn this down. Uh, before I do that, I'm going to quickly use the restroom. Be right back.
Right here, then. Come, come, we must tell the others of this airship and hear what they know of it. I sense. Yo? There you are. What happened? Are the villagers all right? We freed them, along with many others. Kosetsu, we spied an airship bound for the castle. Know you aught of it? Aye, that we do. The Crown Prince is come to Doma. We suspect this is a result of recent events in Girabania. Our defeat notwithstanding, there appears to be some concern in Garlemald that subversive elements may be rallying in other provinces. Though Yotsuyu governs Doma, Xenos remains the province's anointed viceroy, and it would seem he has come to assess the current situation in person. If Xenos is here, we must seize this opportunity and kill him. Would that it I don't know, he's still level 70. Yugiri. You may recall that we encountered Xenos at Rolga's Reach. We have seen firsthand what he can do. His power defies explanation. He faced the Alliance, the Resistance, and the Scions, and he defeated us all. We survived and learned from the experience, it is true. But if we are to defeat him, it will not be through simple opportunism. We will require a flawless plan. We know his strengths. A prodigious swordsman, trained from childhood by the finest Imperial tutors, reputed to be without equal on the battlefield, which is why we must not meet him there. Nay, we keep to the shadows, the domain of the Shinobi, and thence we strike. You need only give me the chance. Were this but a matter of personal revenge, I would not presume to bar your path, for I myself crave that same vengeance. But to draw steel against the Emperor's son is a grave decision, and one that will shape our nation's future. Do not forget Lord Hien's words. What, that we should sheathe our swords if the people lack the will to fight? I will not squander this opportunity. If we do naught, our master's life is forfeit. Even should you succeed, Xenos' death will not win Doma her freedom. More likely, her doom. Can we defend our people against the Empire's retribution? We few against a legion? Do not be a fool, child! Mayhap I am a fool with foolish dreams of a future that will never be. But I cannot, I will not forsake them! Yugiri, wait! What now? I'm going to help her. Because this is Essigos. He makes bad decisions.
I really need to, to, to clean my stuff. I will not pursue her. It is for her to think on her master's word and recognize the futility of her course. Those at least are my thoughts among, on the matter. Yours may be different. Should you wish to give chase, I will not bar your path. We must we each have but one life, and it is not to be spent recklessly in pursuit of our goals. I pray she realizes this soon. is into my okay cool i'm gonna make a quick stop in kagami for reasons It goes Setsu send you to stop me. When you came here of your own free will, I should be surprised if you agreed with my chosen course. No one else did. It is not as fanciful as it would have you believe. Scant moments ago, I received a crown prince, the crown prince's itinerary from one of our spies in the castle. So it seems that Xenos has no desire to remain in Doba any longer than necessary. He wishes to inspect the moon gates this very eve. His impatience is our disadvantage. He arrived without warning and gave Yatsuyu no time to prepare. The whole castle is in a state of upheaval. To avoid any delay, he has declined in a full escort and be traveling with no more than a handful of soldiers. But Kami could not have blessed us with auspicious circumstances. I will kill him, Eskos. I will. <laughs> you mean we will kill him? Or die trying to understand the risks. Forgive me. Of course you do. Mayhap better than I. But are you sure? Thank you. Thank you. I, I cannot well express what this means to me. We have much to discuss, but we will do so on, on the way. Yakuza Manor is more, some distance from here. We must hurry. Stay calm. No one knows you were here. No one knows you saw anything. No one knows you overheard two rebels plotting to kill the crown prince. God, stupid, stupid, stupid. You know how this ends. And they only have themselves to blame. You have to tell them. You have to...
Oh. That's for something else. Can't dive here. It's far enough. Let us discuss our plan of attack. Xenos itinerary is as follows. You will depart on the castle for sh by ship and approach the moon gates. The Magitech field will be deactivated briefly, allowing this his vessel to pass. It will then continue on to these very docks where he and his entourage will disembark. As you can see, this area is not ideal for an ambush. Wide open, multiple avenues of escape. The manor is best suited to our needs. Let us split up and search for suitable hiding places. Run about our walls and deserted. This location appears to be ideal for concealment. And I think we have VO in the next part, so you might not be able to hear me very well. Ah, there you are. Hmm, from the roof, we would have a clear view of the docks. It is settled. We will lie and wait here until Xenos arrives. As discussed, if all goes to plan, you shall fall with my first blow. 
If not, then the two of us will have to gauge him in open combat. His escorts are of no consequence, which means we have a, have a two to one advantage. Nevertheless, he will not be underestimated. Duty. Uh, I believe we will finish after this duty. He comes. The village is not far, my lord. If it please you, we shall escort you there directly. a province than a graveyard, the rotting husk of a broken nation devoid of proper sport. Ah, but as his radiance wishes... Yes, of course, my lord. I, I, and may I say how terribly sorry we are that you had to come so far. We labored long to sow the seeds of hatred, of fear, to train them as beasts. Now we shall see the harvest. Let there be savage beasts baying for blood, and not hollow-eyed prey cowering in the dark, or there will be no joy in this hunt. How weak you are. Is this the sum of your hate? This is only the beginning. For Lord Kyan! For Doma! Ah! Mayhap, I shall test this new blade of yours. Let us hope it is to my liking, lest your misfortunes compound. Then again, I am loath to expend such effort on the unworthy. Come, earn the honor.
Yeah, well done, Beast. You have earned the right to look upon the uh, ammo. No, I must fight on. I must. Run, Beast. Run. No, we're not actually supposed to win that one. Just like before, he trounces us. Again. Ah, I remember you, Alamigo, the champion of the savages. Look ye where the sun doth rise, see crimson embers darkening skies. Look ye where the sun doth fall, see azure lost amidst the squall. was to spare your life. Hear me, hero. Endure. Survive. Live. For the rush of blood. For the time between the seconds, live. For the sole pleasure left me in this empty, ephemeral world, live! You are not worthy.
No, don't. You must. You must flee. We're not going anywhere, do you hear me? We're not running away! What you're doing is stupid and reckless, and I never wanted any part of it, but here we are! I've spent my whole life hating myself. For every time they made me beg, for every time I held my tongue to protect the people I love. And then you came along and reminded me of all the things I never said and never did, and it was even worse. I would have given anything to forget, to walk away but I knew I'd never be able to live with the guilt. So we came, all of us, for you, for ourselves, for Dorma! Death is death, regardless of the reason. Yet you seem determined to die. Intruding upon this sacred ground, turning weapons you can scarcely wield upon me. Your lives will not even begin to redress the balance. How wrong you are! Now, Gusetsu, see to Yugiri. Hi. I can't see a damn thing. Someone stop them! My lord? I don't think we were followed. Gods, I have no idea what was going through that man's head, but I am hardly glad he decided to leave. Oh, and don't thank us. Thank Alphano. He was at the heart of the fears, patiently awaiting your gratitude. You shouldn't have seen the way he turned pale when he heard about Gary's plan, and how you, of all people, have decided to help her. It was in such a panic, barking orders, calling for a squadron to be assembled. As were you. I was n I was rather composed, as I recall, though it is neither here nor there. The Shire gear is being replaced. Oh, hey, he's a girl. Can you believe it? We faced the crown prince himself and lived to tell the tale. We have no idea what this means for us. Everyone is talking about getting more weapons and armor and we're not going to stop until we've taken back our homeland. All right, get a bit ahead of ourselves, aren't we? We got wounded to tend to first. We should get back to the village. Yeah, I believe he's at uh, Namai, right? Uh, no. All right, we are in rest place, which means pause. Next time I stream, I don't know when that be. That's why I don't have it scheduled anymore. Because strangely enough, it's kind of how I feel. I, I need to get back on, on schedule, but I was just doing stuff. So is that loud later tonight? Uh, what are we talking about tonight? Uh, Oh! Hey, tonight we're talking about uh, so long, X two. We know you so well. Goodbye. Anyways, that's it for the for for some gaming. Uh, check go to comes out loud uh, YouTube at uh, youtube.com slash comes out loud. Subscribe and click that bell. 
um, in order to get notifications when we go live because we stream on YouTube instead of uh, Twitch for that. Uh, that comes out loud.com, sazzle.com slash comes out loud. You know the deal. I give the spiel of every uh, show. Also become a patron, patreon.com slash comes out loud. Good night!